Beautiful 45 centimeter dusky flathead. Oh, oh, oh. I might chuffed or what? Look at that. Caught well and fair and square. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Woohoo! Yeah, right on, man. The color. Good day, friends. Great to see you all again. Thank you for joining me. Today is a special day. I'm going to share with you the secrets of Nonya Ota Ota. Now, recall the fish I caught the other day, uh, Flathead and Taylor. We've decided to make that into a beautiful aromatic spiced fish dish. Now, this is fish is made into a spicy puree and cooked with fresh banana leaves over a hot flaming coals. Delicious, aromatic, very fragrant, a little bit spicy absolutely delicious please join me don't go away as i share my secrets of the traditional home recipe with you at joe ninja chef thank you for watching here we had a mixture of beautiful flathead and tailor segments all filleted and chucked in lovely chunks we have over here galangal humeric uh, ginger beautiful fresh peppers that you see i've deceded and really cleaned up two of them and of course we have some dry chili down here um, garlic white pepper coconut cream about a can 400 grams worth and of course you can either use tapioca starch or in this case i've used some japanese potato starch so all in all not very difficult to acquire these dishes you probably have them in your local chinese shop and with that, let us mix and chop up these pieces into fine little segments to be placed in a thermal mix machine. First up, chuck a galangal bit in your blender and let us mulch that to a bit of a puree can see the galangal's been mulched into the finery. Next up, take the rest of your ingredients, and basically chuck it in there like so. Quite colorful, isn't it? And including the shallots, throw it in there like so. And let's blend it a little bit. Put a little bit of cooking oil in there to help the process. That should do it. With your spatula, wipe the sides down, like so. Mm, that looks very, very tasty. Nice and orangey in color. And give that another blend. One more quick blend. Now look at that beautiful fine paste. And what we need to do is to collect all of that. Beautiful aromatic looking paste. Very nice. Smells good. And we'll get ready to make that and cook that. We have it. Beautiful paste ready to be fried up. Consisting of galangal, turmeric, lemongrass, ginger, chili, peppers, and everything else. Different paste and fry. Ooh, look at that. Keep stirring, make sure you stir so it doesn't stick to the base of the pan. Now that's all separated and nice and fragrant, so we can set it aside now and let it cool. Well, we're on part two of the otak otak recipe, which is a grilled fish cake. We've prepared the chili paste, so let's have a look at what the chili paste looks like. And now we're going to put all the ingredients in the thermal mix and blend it all together. As you can see again, our flathead and Taylor fillets here. We have a teaspoon of white pepper, uh, four teaspoons of salt, uh, four 
teaspoons of sugar, 100 mils of water. We have our coconut cream ready to go. And of course, you can either use tapioca flour, 60 grams of that, or in this case, I've used potato starch because that's all I could find in my wife's cabinet. So let's put it all together right in the Thermomix. Well, I think the easiest thing to do is get it all, rid of all the oily stuff. Let's start off by putting this fish um, paste recipe right in the Thermomix, and perhaps the fish now, which might go in next. Just lump that in, now it's quite easy. Fish has gone in, and perhaps now we'll add the uh, salt, the uh, pepper, it's all quite easy when you can lump it all together. Sugar, tapioca flour, and we should add the coconut cream in a second. Let's see what we have in here. Whoa, you can see that's all well mulched together into a lovely paste. And to that, we might now add the coconut cream. So let's see if we grab this whole can of coconut cream and drop it right in here like so, without making a bit of a mess. Oh, there we go. Let's blend that all in. Let's give it one more round of a blend. Moment of truth. Beautiful, nice little paste there. As you can see, very, very well homogenized, I think is the word. So let's lump it all together onto a plate and maybe wrap it up in banana leaves right now. One nice little lump. There you go, right in here. Lovely little paste. We're using your spatula. Grab all the bits and bobs so you don't waste any right underneath all the fins as you can see. And there you have it, beautiful fish paste that is nice and fragrant. Look how shiny it is, ready to be put in banana leaves. So the next thing to do is to wash our banana leaves and get ready to uh, wrap them all up. Now comes the interesting and fun part of the whole evening, wrapping up the fish paste in the banana leaves. What every man needs in his life is a great mother-in-law and I'm particularly blessed. Why? Because my mother-in-law is number one. And two, she's got multiple banana trees in her backyard. And look what I've got here, which she has kindly donated. Tons and tons of banana leaves, which I now can use to really envelop my uh, fish paste into little parcels for the barbecue tomorrow. Now, what you need at this stage is sheets of banana leaves about six inches by four inches long to make into a flat cylinder in the olden days you would use two picks nowadays i cheat and use staples and you need a scissors and we're going to impregnate our banana leaves with banana paste i mean uh, fish paste let's show you how to make it take your bit of paste bung it right in the the center of the six by four. I tend to push it down a little bit so it looks a bit, and if you like, you can get your shape done quite nicely with this. In fact, it's quite malleable and easy to work with. Look at that. If you're a concreter or a plaster border, this is the job for you. Next up, roll it and, and shroud it together. Maybe I think I might push this a bit more towards the ribbing side and then slide it right across like so, okay? Once you've done that, roll it like a flat cigar, like so, one, two, and three. To one end, use your stapler from Office Works. snip, snip, end of story, and the top edge, snip, snip. Happy days, any runaway line edges, Finish. there you go. A beautiful specimen and here I have two of them ready to go let's make a whole ton of these truckloads of these little uh, what we call them little wallets
Well, here we have it. After all that hard work tonight, we've finally come out with our little magazines, if you like, of, or parcels of banana wrapped fish paste, which is spiced and aromatic herbs. Don't they look really, really pretty in these little organic parcels of banana leaf? Tomorrow night, we're going to grill them over hot, hot coals and basically wool them all down. So stay tuned, we're going to show you how to cook these little parcels of uta uta tomorrow under hot coals. It's going to smell good, it's going to be absolutely delicious. So please stay tuned as I'll show you the last leg of the secrets of how to cook uta uta, grilled fish cake Malaysian Nonya style. Here we go, we'll put it on really nice hot coals today and we'll turn it periodically so we don't burn ourselves. There you go, beautiful. Let, let's not forget to turn this around. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at the color. That's the perfect charcoal. So we'll want red embers and no yellow flames. And I'll turn it periodically again. Sizzle, crackle, pop, time to turn. Oh, look at that. Barbecue, lovely, lovely. Uh, blackness, a bit of blackness and let's turn it around like that for a bit rub that coal for me there we go beautiful red red embers now that's what i'm looking for that's the ideal heat that i'm looking for cook baby cook listen to that sizzle oh look at those red coal beautiful beautiful this is what you call heat control keep turning and turning it and turning it, getting it to perfection. Lovely. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Obviously, you're in fire. <laughs> and I think it's about time to take it out. Let's take them off the fire. Let's place it on our plate. All right, let's open up one of these little babies without putting too much ash on it all. Oh, that's, there it is. Moment of glory. Juicy. Juice, it is juicy. It's, wow, that smells good. Get rid of all that ash. Oh, that's nice. Get rid of that bit of ash. Chuck this banana on the fire. That's a beautiful thing about it. And you can see my lovely bits, they're ready to be eaten. Let's try this right now. Right, let's try this. Oh, you got to make this very, very delicious, so fragrant. If you love fish, you have to make this fish. Well, let's peel this one up now here. You can see the rib of the banana leaf, and that's why I placed it there. Try not to get any ash on it, we'll chuck it in the fire. But as I peel that back, you can see these beautiful orangey turmeric flavored shape. Oh, let me just show you that. And get rid of that ash. Look at that, a beautiful slither, beautiful slither of flavor. Ota Ota grill, so beautiful. Ah, mmm, beautiful. Ota Ota grill fish pack Malaysian style nonya. Mmm, Ota Ota grill fish cake. Nonya style Malaysia from Malaysia. Try to make it at home, it's a very simple recipe. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Joe Ninja Fisherman. See you next episode for another Catch and Cook series.